It's Salvaje, and here are 10 total beginner tips for Borderlands 3 for players that have never played the franchise before, like me for example. These are 10 things that I wish I knew. First tip, make sure that you're playing with other people. It took me about 6 hours to get one of my characters to level 9 playing solo, and it took me 4 hours to get uh, my second character from level 1 all the way up to level 9. It definitely helps out playing with a group of 4 people. Specifically, if you're doing missions uh, in the later stages of the game, that the missions usually tend to be long and of course have more uh, enemies that have more complex strategies. This game is definitely really enjoyable if you're playing with other people, so make sure that you're using the matchmaking feature by going to social and then moving to the right to the matchmaking section. Tip number two, make sure that you have time to play missions in Borderlands 3. So other looter shooter games sometimes have 15, 30 minute missions. I did a mission yesterday for about an hour and 30 minutes. So I really wish somebody would have told me that because I really wanted a shower and I was really tired and the mission took way longer than I expected. So yeah, just definitely make sure to keep that in mind. Tip three, make sure that you guys are managing your backpack space. So. Simply put, let's say that you find a really cool weapon and you don't want to use it. You want to take it and then it's going to be saved into your backpack. But if you're not managing your backpack and if you're not dropping weapons that you're not going to use or selling weapons on items that you're not going to use, you're not going to be able to take the weapon. When I first started playing the game, I thought that my backpack was always going to have 16 pieces in it because that was like my inventory and how my character was defined. That was not the case. I just needed to drop weapons from my backpack. Tip number four, make sure that... No, wait. This is, oh yeah, this is tip number four, yeah. Uh, make sure that you guys use the weapons on vehicles. They can be very, very effective, and for the most part, they can pretty much just give you easy kills, and they also aren't going to waste the ammo that you actually um, you know, have in your weapons. Next tip, these vending machines that you guys are seeing on screen, you can actually buy ammo from. Look, I know it might sound like a stupid tip, but I did not know that, and I wish someone had told me sooner. I learned that like three hours into the game, man. It was really, really frustrating. I was always running out of ammo. That moves me forward to my next tip. Make sure that you loot every single thing that you see in this game. So, as you guys know, I play Fortnite Save the World, and in Save the World, you don't really need to loot things as much, right? It's not the case with Borderlands 3. You want to make sure that you're looting every single thing that you see because you're going to be getting ammo and you're also going to be getting some cash as well. And the cash is of course going to be able to help you out when it comes down to maybe buying a new shield or a new weapon, etc, etc. That moves me forward to my next tip. If you guys are, if you guys have a lot of shields sort of in your inventory, usually the shields with the lowest power levels are the ones that are the most useless. So you can either sell those or drop those so that you can have inventory space. Next tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you do every single side mission before you actually leave a planet. Something that I notice is by doing every single side mission, I'm basically leveling up faster, which means that I'm also getting more loot because I'm killing more enemies and I, ha I can also kill potential enemies that are going to drop a specific weapon. The first time that I was playing my character, uh, I had really really shitty weapons, but when my second character since I was doing a lot of side missions uh, I've been able to get some really cool weapons that have specific gimmicks that make them very very fun to play So side missions are absolutely something really really important that you guys need to do Tip number eight if you've got an opponent that's sort of approaching you and he's at very close range uh, make sure that you melee them, you know, most enemies that I have fought in the early game, usually when you melee them, they get stunned back, and this gives you an opportunity to either retreat or of course finish them off. Tip 9, make sure that you guys are just using your abilities. It's very simple, right, and it's just something that sometimes people forget. When I first started playing Amara, which was my first character, I sometimes didn't even use her ability at all throughout combat, and it made combat like really, really boring. And tip number 10, and this is something that I don't see a lot of folks doing, make sure that you guys are always staying mobile in this game. So there's a lot of enemies at specific uh, times of the game from time to time, and you can get pinned down by these enemies because enemies in this game are actually really aggressive and they will push towards you. A mistake that I see from time to time is that people sort of remain static or within a specific area. Instead of doing that, make sure that you guys are moving around and always positioning yourself in situations where you're going to be able to add value to the team. 
So I just want to let you guys know, um, I am going to be making a couple of more Borderlands 3 videos. I'm just going to be enjoying the game though. I'm not going to be trying to rush it to make content. You guys know me, right? It's quality over quantity. And if I want to make Borderlands 3 videos, I want them to be of high quality as well. Since I've never played any other Borderlands games, that gives me a huge advantage because I'm going to be learning a lot of things that, uh, you know, new new players to the series probably have in mind. So if you are a new Borderlands 3 player, you might want to hit that subscribe button. I also make Fortnite Save the World videos as well, and you might be into that as well. So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace out, homies.